All right, so it looks like they're screwing with my computer now. Uh, I've done two videos. The third one is processing, and it won't finish processing. It's going to fail, and the reason it's going to fail is because they're screwing with my computer. They, 17 people have already looked at my videos, and into the videos, when I get like about 15 minutes into the videos, it says try to reconnect. But yet my computer says I'm collected. I'm I'm connected to the internet. But the YouTube says, try to reconnect, that YouTube is pulling the plug, or somebody's pulling the plug on me when I get to talking, which is really sad. The sun is going to be getting to me soon. It's about a foot and a half away from me in the shade where I'm at. So that means uh, I'm going to be leaving here in about 15 minutes. But I'm going to try to uh, sit up a little and reposition the camera so that I can, you know, be seen. Anyway, um, in this video, um, I spoke in part one, part two, that, that these videos uh, that I'm taping right now are, um, like I said, psychic. It is physical in nature. Um, although that's going on now. So I'm sure that there are scientists and people even working for the White House right now. I wouldn't doubt it that some of the White House officials didn't. Out of those 17 people that saw my part one of the Aurora shootings, I call it the Aurora Borealis shootings now because now I'm linking it to the prediction I made when I said enjoy the solar flares. And how could I have known cryptically ahead of time made reference to something connected to the city of Aurora, Colorado. Well, I was supposed to move to Colorado in 2002. By I know, excuse me, 2004. But the city of Los Angeles trapped me here. They trapped me here by circumstances beyond my control. They're, they'll try to give you piss poor excuses that the orange line and blah blah blah. But it were not, was none of that. This was in 2002. It had nothing to do with the orange line at the time. So. The Orange Line is the new bus that runs from uh, north, from uh, from here, from uh, Warner Center all the way up to Devonshire, which is Chatsworth. So no, they have managed to destroy my life. They are the main instigators, the city of Los Angeles. But all of you who are American citizens are also instigating a lot of this. You pay taxes, so therefore your collective is. predict in in realistic terms to predict accurately these uh, shootings that are about to take place first of all you have to know about the human human anatomy the human condition the human psychology and you pretty much establish that and my videos pretty much make reference to it that your human race has a bad rap sheet of seven more than 7,000 years with the wars and bits and pieces all over your planet and little less than 300 years of peace and bits and pieces all over the planet that's a very bad track record and a very bad rap sheet for the human race so that means it's pretty much when you get down to the quantum level it's very easy to predict when and where a lot of these things are going to take place a version of what I do in the world of television which is pretend the uh, show called, <coughs> well, the show deals with a machine that's capable of 
actually predicting future events, people that are about to get in trouble, okay? And uh, it's got a guy who looks like a nerd with glasses who plays the main character, and then uh, another guy who used to work for the CIA who's really the action guy, the guy that really takes care of stuff. And in these shows, it, it centers on the machine latching onto someone who's about to get into trouble. The machine was actually made to predict future events. Person of Interest is the name of the show. And, and so then they take in the law into their own hands by stopping whatever's going to happen that's bad. Now, what's really weird here is, is that the people of the United States don't understand that DNA is very unpredictable. It's like Russian roulette. You really don't know when the next super brain is going to be unleashed on the human race. So it is very, very, it behooves all of you to understand that you cannot do stuff like what you, what L.A. has done to me in the last so many years. They trapped me here. They trapped my 24 cars, my boats, my buses, my trucks. They trapped all of the stuff I spent decades saving and, and, and storing and stacking. They destroyed all my life. And my book called Reality Supreme Being is on YouTube. It's all 200, more than 200 videos. And if I edit it someday, I'll be able to put it in a more concise transcript for people to understand and without all my ranting and raving. And that's why I've decided, that's why I decided to do these ad libs, these, these spur of the moment videos so that I can get my ideas all out there and people can judge me any way they want to. I don't care because I don't have anything to care about. Obama and Romney won't meet me on stage, won't debate me. I'm a presidential candidate. You know what they're afraid of and the media too? Somebody like me gets in power. Oh my God, what's going to happen? They'll refer to me like Teddy Roosevelt, that madman in the White House. <laughs> When actually I'm not a madman at all. If I was, I would have entered a studio or flown a plane into a building or entered a, a business or entered a mall, shopping mall, or entered a movie theater like uh, James Holmes here and shot a bunch of people or made a huge bomb to blow up a whole bunch of people. And every government official, and they'd go, oh my God, Caesar's going to be in control. Oh no, what am I going to do? Well, you know what? If that ever happened, of course I'd get my teeth fixed, and maybe my health, I could recapture my health, but I'd come after every one of you. Guarantee it. I'd come after Merck Vigorosa, the president. I'd come after every last stinking one of you, and I'd say, you're out of here.
All of you, state, federal, and local level, you're out of here. We're going to do what Spain did. You're all kicked out, and we're going to institute, like the Declaration of Independence says, which is not law, by the way. It's just a declaration. But in it, it says... every word of it.